Hello everyone, this is Online Earnings bringing you a video about earning money online. In this video, we'll go over Amazon Mechanical Turk. This is a reliable way to earn money online. I would like to start by pointing out this isn't typically a way to replace an income, but a good way to earn extra cash. Basically, Amazon Mechanical Turk is a place where companies, employers, colleges, and so on to post hits for people to complete. Now you might be thinking to yourself, what is a hit? HIT stands for Human Intelligence Task. This means it is a task that a computer cannot complete and they need a person to actually do it. Commonly, you will find surveys here. However, there are also a variety of HITs available ranging from transcription work, writing reviews, and helping companies find their page rank. When you first go to mturk.com, you'll be view When you first go to mturk.com, you'll see a screen like this one. On the left hand, you'll see something that says make money by working on HITs. On the right side, you'll see get results from Amazon Mechanical Turk workers. If you were a company trying to find people to do hits, you would use get results. This is not what you're going to be using typically unless you actually want to hire some workers, but you're going to be using make money by working on hits. So from here, you want to click sign in as worker. You can, not, you can click it from find hits now or worker here. You can also view more information by clicking learn more about being a worker. We're going to go ahead and sign in now. Alright guys, so once you're signed in you're going to be viewed with this page that either looks like this one or your dashboard. Basic, we're going to go over the dashboard first. Basically this is just a place where you get to see how much money you made, how many hits you did, and it organizes based off like bonuses, what was approved, what got rejected, your overall. It's a really great place to understand how well you're performing on Mechanical Turk. I recommend keeping your approval rate at least 99%. Sometimes that can be difficult, especially when you get a requester that isn't exactly fair, but I strongly recommend do doing the best you can to keep it as high as possible. This will allow you to work on way more hits. Up here, this usually is your approved hits. This tells you how much money you've made from approved hits. You can also view bonuses that some hit hits and requesters will give you. It isn't that typical to receive a bonus, but it's always nice when you do. You can view all the work you've done and it tells you the days, the months, and everything else. It allows you to know how many hits you did, what the approval weight was, if any was rejected, and how many are still pending. Now that we got it out of the way, how about we take a look at the hits? From this page, you can see, well, a list of hits. <laughs> I strongly recommend clicking the sort by and choosing how you want to look at your hits. What a lot of people tend to make a mistake about is using reward amount most first. These hits you probably won't be qualified for, and even if you are, they're going to take a long time to complete. I strongly recommend using the sort by function and then choosing newest first. The reason we want to do newest first is because the good hits go fast. That means a hit that's like pays let's say a dollar but only took you like less than but took you maybe like 30 seconds to complete is going to be gone almost right away. Now more than one person can typically work on a hit but they still have a limited number available. That means you want to be the first person to get on those really good hits right away. Some hits you might not qualify for. Let's look at this one. This is grayed out, so I know that I'm not qualified. It also gives me an option to request qualification. So down here, it says qualifications required. This is what they want me to have to be able to work here. Basically, they want me to have product image data collection is not less than 90. Well, I have absolutely no product image data collection whatsoever, so obviously I'm not qualified. However, I can choose request qualification. From there, it'll bring me to either a test screen, a standard screen, or something that I just click continue on and that automatically sends in the request. If you have to actually do a test, I strongly recommend making sure you have the amount of time available. Some tests might take longer than others, so you really want to make sure you nail it. Another good hit, hint for working on here is to click for which you are qualified for. This will allow you to view hits only you can work on. If you don't do that, then there's a good chance you're going to be cluttered with a lot of hits that you can't even do. I'm going to go over master qualification really quick, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it. 
Master qualification is basically provided to you by Amazon. It's their way of saying that you've done so many hits and like such a variety of hits that you're qualified to do basically any hit on Amazon. However, it's extremely difficult to get and I wouldn't set your hopes too high. It usually requires at least 10,000 hits done and a high approval rate. When sorting your hits, you can also choose to sort by an amount. I don't genuinely recommend you do this, but if you choose to, I'd recommend going with small per cent percentages. So like 24, 25 cents, maybe 5 cents, and things like that. You might be thinking to yourself, why would I want to work for such little money? But you have to keep in mind that sometimes the small paying hits are done really quickly. So if you can do a 5 cent hit in like 5 seconds, that can add up really quickly. This also allows you to get your hit numbers up. Why would you want your numbers up? Well, aside from the master qualification, there are, all other, there are other hits that require you to have a certain number of hits done before they allow you to work on theirs. So this is, this is what is commonly referred to as a batch hit. You want to work on batch hits because that means they pay fast, they get your numbers up, and they're worth doing. Alright guys, another thing that you can take into consideration is surveys. I'm not going to look at, show you too much about this, but typically when you enter a dollar amount, you'll be shown a survey. As you can see, I forgot to hit for what you're qualified for, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So, this is the first thing we see on our screen. Answer a 30 minute survey about your beliefs and social attitudes. Well, if it actually takes me 30 minutes, I probably don't want to do it just for $2. Because that, that gives us about $4 an hour. If I'm really desperate for the money, or I really have nothing better to do, of course it's worth doing. But if it's going to take you an, almost an entire hour to do it, it's not generally worth it. Let's look at this one. Short survey on feelings. Answer a qu couple questions about your feelings. Alright, this looks promising. The reward is $1 and for a max of 10 minutes. Alright, so $1 every 10 minutes would probably come up to about $6 an hour. Now, I know that's not typically minimum wage, but that's still a lot better than $4 an hour. If you're not sure if you want to accept the hit or you want to know more information, you can still click view a hit in this group. As you can see when we click that, there are no more hits available. That's why we strongly recommend you continuously refresh and update your page. That way you see only hits that are available. Let's go ahead and try this again. So instead of being picky, we're going to go ahead and just click one of these to give you a good idea of what we're looking at. Once again, you can click view a hit in this group to view the hit before you're actually doing it. So from here you can actually see the page and what requirements they have. Now I'm going to have to block, I may have to block out some of this information just because companies don't want everyone viewing their hits if they're not working on it. However, it does give you an idea of what you can do and what you see. Usually when you click view a hit in this group, it will give you all the information you'll possibly need and you'll be able to understand is this a hit worth doing or is it something you need to pass on. My last tip for you is to get something called Turk Optagon. So basically what this is, is like a review add-on. You add it onto your web browser depending on if you're using Mozilla or Google Chrome. I'm not sure if they add it for any of the other ones, but it's definitely worth looking into. Turk Opticon is a place for people to review requesters. Requesters are the one asking us for the work. We want to know how the request, more information about the requesters, so then we have an idea of do they pay? If they do, how long does it take them? Was it worth doing? Did they pay a fair amount based on the amount of time it took us to do? They'll also add other information. Did they have contact with the requester? Was the requester friendly and nice about the situation? Were they willing to help and provide answers? As you can see, you can use this page to get a lot of information about the requester and find out if this is something worth doing. Generally, you want to work for requesters that have more green than they do red. Each requester is based on s several different categories. Fairness. So was their f hit fair? Basically, this means, did the amount of time it takes you to do the hit a lot to a good amount of time for what it was priced? So was the hourly wage basically fair? Fast. How fast did you get paid? Did it take them a long time to accept your hit? Or was it approved within minutes? Pay. How was the pay? Was it worth doing? Is it fair? It's kind of like fair, but basically just on its own. So it's breaking down the pay more. 
Communication isn't usually entered. It's very rare to actually have to communicate with a requester, but it's good to look at these in case someone did. Because if there isn't a communication, then you know how the requester reacts if there is an issue with your hit. In another video, I'll go over how to install and use Turcopticon for your viewers, for your browsers. As you can see, once you have it downloaded, you can see a little arrow here. This gives you a brief overview without having to actually go to their site. It's a good way to quickly see if it hits worth doing without having to waste time going to a tour comp down a website. However, if you're still unsure about a hit after seeing it, I strongly recommend re re reading the reviews and seeing what other people have said about it. As you can see, this is a good way to earn extra cash. It might not be a way to replace an income, but it's definitely a great way to pay for things like gas money, food, or going out and entertainment reasons. Once you get really good at it, you start earning a lot more, so it's definitely something that you have to stick with. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. If you have any co question, comments, or concern, please leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer anything you guys have. Thank you.